Good morning. It is day six. We have survived six days on this $100 for the week budget challenge. And so far, so good. I am down about $75. Um, I haven't technically spent the whole, well, no, I, I technically did spend the $75. I haven't used it all up. So I put $50 in gas, $25 in groceries. I still have plenty of gas. I've gone 28.2 miles, which is roughly about two, a little bit over two gallons that I've used. So I've got plenty of gas. Um, I just bought some groceries, so I'm good for a little bit. I got my essentials, <laughs> milk. <laughs> um, and so I think I'm going to be fine. I, I think the only thing, like if I really wanted to treat myself would be, I did go to Michael's yesterday. The key of going shopping or going somewhere is don't take any forms of payment in with you, like no cash, no credit cards, just go look. You know, that way you don't impulse shop and then think about it. And then whatever you really are still thinking about and want, you can co go back and get at a later time. Once you have time to, you know, separate your emotions and just get away from it and, you know, think about it. So the one thing that I keep thinking about is there was a puzzle that I wanted there and I had almost ordered a puzzle like a few weeks ago on Amazon. Uh, but I had canceled my Amazon account, so I was just like, okay, let's wait till I have a bigger order and just order all at once so that I didn't have to pay any shipping costs. And that never did happen. <laughs> so I I do want a puzzle. And I'm kind of glad that I waited because the one I saw at Michael's I really like and I really want. So between now and, you know, before I leave the city or whatever, um, and I head into you know, the more like the desert or for not desert, the forest. Um, I would like to get a puzzle and I, I like the ones that I saw there. So it's just a matter of the one that I want to get. I think I know which one I want to get anyways. Um, so that can wait though. I'm just waiting for anything that I absolutely have to get with that extra $25. So if I would have played this really smart, I wouldn't have put any gas in my rig because I could have, I could have survived off of what I had already. And I could have still started my generator had I needed to. I haven't needed to, and I've only driven a short distance. So, and then I could have just bought the milk, you know, instead of the other stuff, but it's not just about surviving here. It's just, it's about, you know, not totally denying yourself, but, you know, just living comfortably, you know, just living not as normal, but not depriving yourself, you know? And so I'm kind of right in the middle. And so, yeah, I feel good about it. Um, one, well, two more days, the day just started. So technically today and tomorrow, once the day is finished tomorrow, we have completed the challenge. So let's see where we're at. I think I will be good because honestly, the m most important thing is finding a place to stay, to sleep. And I haven't been bothered here. Well, I moved places this morning. I sleep somewhere else and then I come early. I think I left like around 5.30 um, and I came to this location. Because um, I try not to stay where I sleep longer than when I sleep. You don't want to make yourself at home. My sister follows me on a, you know, on an app. She follows my location and she's like, are you living at this place? Cause she's never seen me just, you know, stay put <laughs> this long. Um, unless it's like, you know, some amazing place, you know, way out by a body of water. But I'm like, no, I'm doing a challenge. <laughs> so she's like, oh, okay. So. I have a few family members that keep an eye on my location. So I always feel secure about that. I've got friends that follow me and I've got family members that follow me. So um, being that I'm staying at one place, I've gotten some, you know, questions about it. <laughs> if I'm okay. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to start my day. And look how cute this shirt is. 
I slept in it last night. It says better, and then on the bottom it says better together, and it's got Snoopy and little Woodstock. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I like Snoopy. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye. She is moving slow today. A lot of running around yesterday. Today she's like, oh yeah, I'd rather just stay inside. I know, baby girl, I know. But we gotta get our 10,000 steps in. Another thing that I would recommend is paint your own nails to save money. Like you've got the time, buy just an inexpensive, you know, color that you like, that's pretty neutral and do it yourself. And then this way, you know, if you chip them, if they peel, you can touch it up yourself. Um, I'm always, you know, I've got my hands in water. So even if I get my nails done professionally, they always peel. So I've learned just buy some good gel polish and do them myself. Why not? I'm not great at it, but as long as I, you know, take my time and not drink too much coffee, I think I can get most of it on the nail and not my fingers. So next, I'm gonna paint my toes. Wait, let's clarify. I'm not gonna paint my toes. I'm gonna paint my toenails. We gotta be very specific. And I wonder if I could paint Roxy's. I've seen dogs with painted toenails. I don't think it could harm them. Actually, no, she cleans her feet and she kind of bites her nails sometimes. So I don't want her ingesting this. That would not be good.